trust me, the reunion is pure entertainment. I've seen comments saying, "Raw, the reunion might be better than the whole series." I mean, low key, high key, probably is. It is extremely entertaining, extremely entertaining, and I feel like bad is just gonna get better and better and better and better and better and better and better. And better. All right, so stay tuned. You know, get your popcorn, get your tea. The reunion is a movie. Yeah, episode one is more of the prelude, but you see episode two, episode two, three, four, and five. Really got your girl trending, coming like these lonely good tweets never ending. Little did they know I had more bangers pending. This is fire in the booth with a bad bitch attending. Love it when he lit my ass and kissed me in my mouth. Soppy toppy, pull it out and bust up on my blouse. I let him know he's fucking with the realest bitch about. He be coming from west, but be going down south. I be on the boss bitch energy, I mean it Address me as big bad Lani, I'm the queen bitch Hey guys, welcome back to my channel My name is Lani Good, if you've never heard of me Then where have you been? But if you are like a long time subscribing Basically goodies member, then you know what, FC shoot heavy And it's been a long time since I sat down in front of the camera and spoke Obviously, I've tried to like transition more into my producer bag and just become like a boss babe. Do you understand? Like I'm trying to become a boss bitch, so um, I've tried to stay away from you know my personal content and just give you guys shows. I want to thank everyone who's been supporting Badders. Um, I'm just so grateful. Um, words can't actually describe how grateful I am. I'll be real. I can never thank you guys enough for making my dreams come true. You guys have literally, in a way, given me a job. You've hired me. Um, so I want to thank you for that. Um, I work really hard on Badders. I worked hard on season two, but we have upped it. Like, we have, what's the word? Like, we've upped the hard work. Do you know what I mean? We want going forward for it not to be have mistakes because if anything I feel like season one was more of a pilot in the sense that we were finding our feet do you know what I mean like we still like I, I personally I was more of a one-man band when I did season one um so I didn't really run my ideas past anyone really um and I've been told that I shouldn't do that so now I've got like a team and stuff and I'm just really grateful for all of you guys for giving me this opportunity to basically become you know a younger version of Mona Scott Young so I love you guys so much and I want to just thank you I just want to thank every subscriber from the bottom of my heart I love you guys I'm so grateful so this video is basically just to address a few things that you guys might not know um, because I feel like sometimes there's like missing pieces of the puzzle so first things first I want to talk about um, how I'm going, how things are going to be going forward. Um, I need to do this because I feel like a lot of people are a bit confused. Now, in Croatia, I feel like I was in a very different position to the position I'm in now. So number one, I lacked experience of being a producer, and number two, I lacked managerial skills of dealing with sixteen different personalities. I did. So I felt like in season one, where it was all, it was basically all my investment, all my money, and I wanted things to go perfect. I played the role of the nice guy, and I did that because I was shit scared of losing all my money. I'll be honest. Um, going forward, um, I have completely eradicated this approach. I will be a fair boss, but going forward, I want to be a stricter boss. So in season one, I let a lot of things slide. One of the one of my biggest like um, rules and one of my biggest like no nos is um, the breaking of property. If you want to break someone's face in, so be it. Because at the end of the day, it's 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 baddies. It's, it's basically the UK version of baddies. I get it. But what we're not gonna do is break property. A lot of the girls disrespected the house I put them in. Um, a lot of the girls. The, the, this is the truth, it's not their money. So they're not thinking like if they break a glass, if they break a door, if they break a TV, it's, if they're not, it's not gonna affect their pockets, it's gonna affect mine. And, and you know, I was risking, or I literally risked 20 grand on something I didn't know would work. I didn't know if anybody would, um, I didn't know if the views would be enough or anything was enough for me to recoup the money. So I just wanna make it clear, like going forward, like my biggest number one rule is breaking of property. I do not tolerate breaking of property. Um, in Croatia, uh, Raindor, Amy, Shelley, and Miss Are Fabulous 
trashed the other villa now this I obviously I, I don't agree with this and I think it's very disgusting hence why me and Renee's um, friendship is broken I'm gonna talk a little bit about Renee right now because a lot of people don't realize that I was still willing to pay Renee even though she didn't come in the main villa even though she trashed the other villa I was sorry sorry not trashed the other villa even though she didn't come in the main villa I was willing to pay Renee my final straw of Renee is when she trashed the villa like I said it's my biggest no-no haul do you understand? I would have even forgiven her for hitting me because she hit me with a frying pan. I still have the bruise on my leg to this day. Okay, so my biggest rule, my biggest no-no is the breaking of property. I need people to respect the space I put them in. Every time the girls disrespect me by breaking things, they're ruining my 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 um my working relationship, my professional working relationship with the property, with the, I hired a venue for the reunion, they're ruining my reputation with the venue owner, they're ruining my reputation even with the crew, in, in terms of camera crew and um, sound engineer, because you have to understand that the camera crew and the sound engineer, as much as they do this job, in the back of their heads, they're worried that their equipment might get damaged, because they don't know if the girls are respectable enough not to, you know, like, have... I, like just go crazy enough to go next to their equipment g jump on their equipment when they're scrapping they see red and their equipment gets trashed these are the fears and these are the concerns that when I approach a camera crew a sound engineer and I want them to work with me these are the concerns they have people just don't understand that like so it just I want a team that I constantly can work with in terms of camera crew sound engineer security and every time I, there's a bad experience these people don't want to come back. At the reunion, and I hired a professional, um, secure, a professional security firm, and one of the security man's um, cars got damaged. I don't know how it got damaged, but according to him, it got damaged by Val Cookie and C's like crew. I don't know the, the like who in particular in their crew did it, um, but he that's his story. He's basically saying when the girls were outside, his car got damaged. Now I've had to pay that man. 500 pounds for the scratch on his car it's um it's these things that are necessary do you know what i mean at the end of the day i'm trying to get to the point where i've built my platform to a healthy place like a proper healthy place where everybody now um can eat as much as people think i think a lot of people think lani's up lani's up no i have enough money to make shows I will say that I have enough money to make shows. I do not have enough money to go and buy a house. I do not have enough money to go and buy a yacht. Okay? I don't even have enough money to go spoil myself and get a Birkin. I have enough money to go again. I'm not a silly girl. If I wanted a Birkin bag, I would have done that with the 20k I want. I'm not gonna do that. I'm trying to reinvent. So, all, sorry, reinvest. So all the money I make goes back into badders. It goes into my other shows. I want to make a basically a black life, Love Island, but obviously a little bit more toxic, a little bit more interesting. So where's the money gonna come to do that the money comes from basically you guys supporting the platform do you know what I mean like and every time the girls ruin a property it, 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 it makes it's a cost to me it's a loss to me and on top of that it ruins my reputation with the with whatever venue I've hired I just can't do it anymore I've ranted on a, I've ranted on a lot about this but the reason I'm ranting on so much about breaking a property is it's just my biggest no-no Okay, now I want to make something very clear, like, at the end of the day, because Croatia was such an experiment, I have decided to forgive and move on, but going forward, I have to put my foot down. It's like, when does Lani, get, when does Lani finally put her foot down and say, you know what, girls, you can't break rules? When does Lani finally put her foot down and say, you know what, girls, you have to listen, like, you have to listen? I understand the frustration of the girls because they might think, you know, not everything is perfect on my side, but at least I'm trying. You are not trying when you're breaking somebody's property. You're not. You're not trying when you're breaking rules. If everybody followed my rules, things would just go smoother. Now, I want to move on because I don't want to rant. So, um, in addition to rule breaking, I want to talk about the reunion very briefly. The reunion was extremely difficult to plan because... Finding a venue in the UK is a little bit more difficult than finding a venue abroad. When you go to these European countries, they can be a lot more relaxed than the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is extremely anal. So people are very like, 
the ask a million questions here so every time i went to a venue and some of these venues actually reached out to me they wanted to collab with me they were even inviting the baddest girls to have parties but the minute i said can we host a reunion at your venue and they was like is there potential is there like a, is there any potential they would find they were not interested no venue as much let, let me tell you something guys there's so many people in my life that would be like when i you know spoke to them and i was just like i'm finding it difficult to find a venue there's so many people that were like i know someone i know someone that was a venue no 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 it can't be that difficult sis you just don't know people i know somebody so many people would say these things to me the minute i say all right cool shut the person that you know the minute the person starts talking to me and they go google badders they're not interested you think you you not sitting there might be like oh my mom will do it no they're not in once they google the show they don't want scrapping in their venue nobody wants shit to break in their venue and i can't even trust the girls enough to say to the person they ain't gonna break nothing because they probably are because they don't listen to me there's literally a lack of respect for my rules so i can't even like do you know how good it would be to have a venue that i could film most of my reunions even if it's two or three venues but i've built a, re a relationship with these people they they're like lani i i trust you you're a businesswoman you always have things patterned and your your crew they can come and do what they're gonna do i know i've got i know like you've got this and if anything breaks like you're gonna like you know pay for the damages but you, like basically professionally like you I feel, you know you're good like so anytime you want to come back we've got you i can't have those relationships because the girls won't let me because every time we go in a venue they break shit they don't listen to me so what am i supposed to do so i'm oh, sorry rant again um it's just very 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 difficult so finding a venue was not easy when i finally find uh, found uh, and sometimes they say yes but they add like a crazy amount of money they'll ask you for three grand for the day or four grand for the day because they think it's a risk so you're gonna pay so um i eventually found a venue and guess what his front door had been literally like yanked open because uh, a few of the girls and and me um there was a misunderstanding basically they weren't sure why, why they were not at the reunion yet so I want to explain something about the reunion as well. When you watch a reunion, the reunion is done in groups. It's not done as in everyone on stage. The reason it's done in groups is because number one, the space, although beautiful, stunning, was not, it wasn't like a huge venue. It's not like a huge hall. So due to the size of the venue, we could not have everybody on stage. You just have to remember there needs to be space for equipment, lights, cameramen, sound engineer, okay? so there was just not enough space so we started doing it in fours we had eight security men and we we figured out this plan where four girls would be on stage at a time we we have literally a schedule i put the schedule on the screen where the schedule of the times they come on and when we swap them out and swap them in and they do their big one they, i got this idea from love and hip-hop because love and hip-hop did a reunion and love and hip-hop's reunion they did it was the one where jocelyn and tommy um they were beefing and i think someone ran over someone i don't know if jocelyn ran over tommy or tommy ran over jocelyn or tried to with a car so because of that they did fours by fours so that's what i basically did i took that from love and hip-hop so yeah i did my research and i thought you know what this will work so um it but in order to make sure that not everyone was fighting at the same time and going mental at the same time i did it in waves so everyone had 20 minutes on the stage so the first group came second group came third group came fourth group came fifth group came it went like that um so i left valentina last because you know valentina had the most anticipated fight which is meant to be valent shelly i'm sure by this point you've already seen valent shelly's private fight that they've met up and had but they were meant to have the big finale cookie also wanted to um talk to shelly or possibly i don't know if she wanted to scrap her but she wanted to have her moment with shelly i don't know if they were going to talk i'm not really sure but the point i'm trying to make is they were ending the scene i also heard through the grapevine um that c wanted to fight me so um i left i left all of this to the end i thought this is going to be wild so let's go at the end so unfortunately these scenes they can't happen because the girls show up they had extra girls with them we're hearing from security there's a bottle downstairs blah 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 blah. it like then they break the door it just wasn't the way it wasn't the way it was supposed to go i so unfortunately the, those the, they in particular didn't get their scenes and then it's almost like what do we do now like i almost have to like as much as i like love um the girls especially especially Val, I love Val to bits. It's kind of like, you know, this has to come a point where I 
have to like show everybody like guys please don't you know break the rules so I just the, the reason I'm making this video is just to show you guys that it's just not easy like I think people think it's easy being in my shoes it's not it's not easy being in my shoes I'm trying my best and uh, I think I'm doing a good job I just feel like I need to put my foot down with the rule breaking. It doesn't mean that I don't F with someone, I don't love them. I can love you to bits, but I just want you to respect my rules. Do you understand? That's, that's all I want. I just want people to respect my rules and we'll, we'll have like a, like the ship will run smoothly. Especially in season two because, you know, everyone has suggestions of who they want on the show. And I'm, I'm literally working on those things. I feel like season two, I'll be able to bring like at least two to three really big like influences on the show. and. Um, I just feel like in order for me to elevate and make better seasons, I just want people to, if this was Zeus, no one would like be breaking the, well, Krishan has broken rules to be fair, but no one would just be like showing up when they want to and things like that. So yeah, like just moving forward, it would just be nice if people were more trusting of me. I had a conversation with one of the girls, um, um, actually it was Tamara and she told me that, you know, at the end of the day, trust is trust is earned, trust is, trust is gained. Unfortunately, um, if it's a friendship, I totally agree with that. But when it comes to like fi fi a financial, um, like what do you call it, a financial investment, I ain't got time for you not to trust me. You either want to take a chance with Lani or you don't. If you have any reservations about me, then don't come on my platform. I've had like, so with Badders Boys, we're going forward with Badders Boys. And I've heard through the grapevine that one or two of the boys that I wanted to cast, you know, they think I'm not trustworthy, they think I'm buki. This goes again, if you think I'm buki or you do not trust me or you think I'm going to put you in a house and want you to get jumped or set up, don't come on my platform, bro. Like, I'm trying to run a professional, I'm trying to run a professional, um, like, production. Professional, okay? I'm trying to run a professional production. Of course, there can be a mistake here or there. I'm human, of course. But I'm trying my best to run a professional um, production. So what I don't need is people being like, Nani's booky, because what we're, we're not gonna do is, um, I'm not gonna argue with the cast of Bad Boys. It's can never gonna happen. Bad as Boys cast are not there for me. I'm, not, I'm a female, I, wanna, I just wanna be a producer. In, you know what I mean? I wanna be a producer on that show. Do you understand? Like, I don't want anyone arguing with me. I want people to go to bed when they're supposed to go to bed. I want people to wake up when they're supposed to wake up. I want people to just respect, like, my rules. If I say, you know, the fights are done, the fights are done. If I say, when it's time to go to bed, I don't want anybody leaving. You are, pro you are, pro sorry, you are prohibit prohibited from um, basically attacking anybody whilst they sleep. You are only allowed to scrap during the day whilst filming is on. You cannot scrap whilst people are sleeping in their bed and catch them off guard. If I say that to people and they do it, like, what are we doing here? Then it's World War Three. As much as for you guys, you might think it's entertaining for people to break rules, it's about anarchy. If I have anarchy, I cannot film because things are too chaotic. There needs to be chaos, but it's manageable chaos. Like, I am managing it. The girls are waking up when they wake up. The girls are on time when they need to be on time. The girls are... It, it just needs to be manageable chaos. And just because I have fallen out with people does not mean I dislike them. Now, let me talk a little bit about Renee. Actually, I want to say this. Let me talk a little bit about Val. Val obviously hurt, like, hurt me when she broke the rules. But do I... You know, she's human. She made a mistake. I feel like she's aware she made a mistake. And I forgive her for what she did. I love Valentina, and um, I, I love Valentina. It just it just has to end there. Like I love Valentina. I don't dislike Valentina. I don't want Valentina to feel like I was so mad at her. I literally, basically, didn't want to talk to her. But I don't want Valentina to feel like I have disregarded her. I don't. I haven't disregarded you. Like I love. I just love Valentina and. She has been a big part of Badders, and she will always be a part of Badders, but it's just that, you know, what she did really hurt me, and I have to be strict as a boss. But it doesn't mean, like, I will never work with Valentina and stuff like that. I just think, like, I want her to get to a place where she... I want her to get to a place where she really, really respects my rules. That's all I want, you know? I love the girl. I just want her to respect me the way I respect her and things like that. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Renee now. Um, when it comes to Renee, um, 
I think now that time has things have settled, I see somewhat um, where Renee was coming from in certain situations. Um, for instance, being Renee isn't easy because obviously Renee has a big platform and a lot of people don't like Renee. So I can understand that coming into the house for Renee was a bit daunting. Um, I can, I just wish Renee had trusted me more because when Birdie and Shelly had that fight, I basically hid everybody for Renee to prove to her that I wouldn't let her get jumped. And I feel like Renee just never allowed herself to trust me, but my intentions were pure. Um, I wanted to film with her, I wanted to work with her, and um, I feel like me and her probably could have made up if she had just attended um, her confessionals and she hadn't smashed up the villa. I feel like smashing up the villa, trying to take the laptop, it, it, just, it just got very dark, but if Renee hadn't done any of that, um, I would have probably had a conversation with her at the, at the confessionals and I would have paid her and things would have gone smoothly. That's what I think. I do not hate Renee. I think Renee has trust issues because I've seen her say th certain things. Um, I'm a very like, I'm a very understanding person. When I, I, I look at things from people's point of view. Um, yeah, so I get why Renee was a bit apprehensive to come into the house. Um, like I said, I wish she just did and I wish she didn't try to turn my my camera crew against me um, And tell them not to film my show and I just wish she had hadn't done all of that um, I think it could have gone very different for both Shelly and Renee. I wish they came in the house um, I think they would have been fine because I don't think SP and Berna would have wanted Renee jumped so I feel like they would have stood in front of them like literally like this so girls couldn't get to them i also had a very good relationship with valentina then so i know Ren valentina wouldn't have fought her unless i said you know that she, it was like agreed with renee um and a lot of people might think like why wouldn't i just let renee get effed up i know some people i've seen some comments like that <sighs> even though renee signed a contract um to basically participate in batters and but batters are th this fighting so everybody knows this fighting um and anything can happen to me to anybody like literally anything can happen to you so everyone knows what they're signing up for but at the same time like you know i do try sometimes ask like are you cool with this and stuff like that but at the same time you know it's batters so anything can happen but i just felt like renee she's just a little bit you know renee you're a bit of a snitch you like to like whole feds and stuff and even though nothing would have happened, I just kind of thought it was long. Um, and all of you guys know already, Renee contacted my job. So I don't know, Renee just plays very dirty. Um, I don't know why she does this. Um, because to be honest with you, like I said, my intentions were pure and I wasn't actually trying to get her hurt. Like, I, I would have loved to see Renee scrap, but she could have, for instance, scrapped Marissa or somebody like that because I think Marissa wanted her at the, at the time. Um, and if she didn't want to scrap Val, I'm sure Val wouldn't have, Val would have listened to me because Val is not a bully or Val doesn't want to appear as a bully. So I don't think Val would fight someone who's basically saying, I don't want to fight you. So I feel like um, Renee was calm coming in the house, man. Definitely, definitely. So um, that's why I'm out with stuff. Um, a lot of people want to see my ex friend Jasmine Pink on Badders. Um, I've been trying to concentrate on my shows before I talk to her. I feel like I'm avoiding it because I don't know. Maybe it's like because I was supposed to talk to her a couple of weeks back. I feel like I'm probably avoiding it because it's a bit of a not a difficult. It's not that the conversation is difficult. It's just. not the conversation isn't difficult because what me and Val, sorry what me and yasmin fell out over wasn't that serious the reason i have probably haven't called her is because it's probably a bit difficult to open that chapter again because yasmin was my best friend um, yeah, Yasmin was like one of, yeah, she was basically one of my best friends and, you know, I'll be honest, like, um, I really loved Yasmin and, you know, I do miss her. I wish that 
our argument didn't go the way it went and stuff. I also wish she didn't go online and talk about me and stuff like that. But she was a good friend to me. She supported me no matter what. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's hard because sometimes I feel like we lie to ourselves. Like we try and like, you know, we're like, F this person, you try and move on. But when you like, when you get over like the the, the, the rubbish that, hap that happens around, like whatever reason you stop, you fall out of someone. When you get over all the rubbish and you think about it, you're like, raw, like, that was my friend, you know? So yeah, a lot of people want me to talk to Yasmin and I do want to talk to Yasmin. I don't know, maybe I'm a bit scared. Um, I'm sure the conversation won't go bad because I have respect for her and stuff. But yeah, um, yeah, so I guess in a way, yeah, man, it's hard, man. I miss my friend and I don't know, man. I just feel like, <laughs> how do I say this? Like, it would have been nice to have my friend on season one as well because I feel like, you know, she's more street, she's more street savvy than me. So maybe like she could have helped. With, especially with the communication with some of the girls who are more hood than me. I'm not a hood girl, so sometimes I feel like hood politics, I don't understand them that well. So I feel like Yasmin, she's like proper clued up and she would have helped me like um, navigate that. Sorry guys, just, you know what I mean? Felt a bit vulnerable there. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, so, yeah man. Um, also, Moving forward as well, like when it comes to badders, we are definitely working on improving everything. Like we want to improve, um, I know that like in season one people complain about some stuff was shaky. We are um, going forward, but we have, if we're trying to minimize the shakiness, we're trying to also minimize sound issues by having a sound engineer. I just want you guys to know that sound engineers are extremely expensive. Um, for the reunion, I had one and he cost me £800 for the day and the only reason he cost me that much as well is because something broke. With sound engineers, where they have to have, like with the girls, where they have to have the mic on them, if they scrap and they sit on it, it falls, it can get damaged, it's long, yeah, and each of his little whatever thingies, they're like each three bills. Imagine on a show like mine how many people can break. Imagine they break ten, that's three grand for you guys to have good sound and that's only because the girls scrap on other shows they're not they're not breaking but on my show they're breaking because the girls scrap do you get where I'm coming from like yo sound yeah sound is a sound is not easy sound is a big issue but we are we are definitely like working on it I want you to know that um, bad as boys it's not that bad as boys is an experiment but it's still the first of of it's still the first of it. So, Smash Island, it's gonna be the first of it. Um, the show that I want you to really judge me on will be Badders season two. Reason being that Badders season two is the one where we're like, no excuses. Like, no excuses. Get me, like, Badders season two, that like, we're really trying to like, break the internet, so. Uh, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for supporting me. Um, like I said, it's not easy. I also spoke online that um, I've made adjustments so I can concentrate fully on badders. I have made those adjustments. They didn't go according to plan. <laughs> they didn't go according to plan fully. But I've made those adjustments. So I now basically... But basically, badders is the forefront of my life, as it should be. My platform is the forefront of my life. And also, I want to um, talk about um, um, gaps. Some of the people who are subscribed, obviously, they would they would like notice that there's gaps. I need to have more content more often. Um, so that's also something that we're working on right now. Um, and going forward, I think that things will be better in that department. I used to edit. I don't edit anymore because I'm too slow at editing, or maybe it's my computer. I don't freaking know. But now my I have an editor. Um, I just want you guys to know, like, look, think about where I'm gonna be next year. Like, this time next year I might have five shows. Like I said, we want back to back content for you guys. There might be five shows. There might be, um, there just might be more. Like, it just might be better. And the last thing I want to say before I go, I actually want to talk about, um, I want to talk about a few cast members. It's not a lot, but two cast members, um, publicly. 
um, were upset about the fact that I gave them each a bill on the reunion. Um, this wasn't payment for attending the reunion. It was like a contribution fee for attending it, reimbursement for travel, things like that. Now, we, on, on like my platform, we are working towards the goal of paying people I love to pay them way more than what I'm paying them. I love to pay the sound engineer more, security more. Like I pay people the basically the minimum I can get away with. Um, but it's still good. But like I, I, I do what I can basically within my within my means. I want to get to a point where the girls are getting ten grand a season and stuff, stuff like this. But it's not gonna happen overnight. I've done one season. Be for real. Like um, and another thing is they shows like Judy Shaw. The guys didn't get paid for three seasons whilst they were building and then they started paying them and i think they only started paying them a grand a season you know what i mean and then eventually they're probably paying them like half a million a season it's like it takes time i'm not there yet i don't know what these girls expect from me and then the the thing that is so ironic is i know for a fact that cookie online said a comment about if i tell you what we're being paid for the reunion you are on backchat cookie do you get paid for backchat because that's what i want to know that's what i want to know you're on backchat do you get paid to be on back chat? Because that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Because I'm an OG back chat member. Right. So I would know. You don't get paid nothing. Yeah, you don't get paid no, um, for your petrol or nothing like that. So, I don't know. Would you get paid on back chat? Since you have talk, you have talk for me because, um, back chats on what? Like four or five? It's like a sixth season? I'm on season one of Badders and I at least gave you something. Something I could afford. Like, just like, people just talk ish. Cookie wants to have an issue with me, but she has no issue with me. I have done nothing to Cookie. I have no idea why the girl is pressed. Not one, I have no idea why the girl is pressed. Cookie, Cookie um, through the grapevine, I knew that C and Cookie wanted to either talk to me or fight me. I feel like Cookie's issue, she, she can talk to her for herself if she wants, but I feel like Cookie's issue with me it's basically the fact that there was an episode where um, Shelly, Shelly called uh, <laughs> She asked for footage, I said no. Then she said, do you want me to bang in your face? And I said, go on then. And she goes, what? And then hung up, I can put the clip here. And then there's a voice that says Valentina, like Arthur, like calls Valentina. Now I got a few comments saying, look at you calling Valentina when you get threatened, like you're a pussy. So I basically said, um, that was, I just said that was on my voice, it was Cookie's voice. Maybe Cookie called her for the tea, I don't know, but she called, she called her. That's what I said. I was just like, it wasn't me. Why are you upset by that? I don't know why you called Valentina. I never said you called Valentina to back me. You could have called Valentina like, oh girl, come here, this tea. I don't know, I'm not you. I don't know why you called Valentina. Like, it's not even a big deal. I'm not cussing you. I was just saying, Cookie called Valentina. I did not call Valentina. So go ask Cookie. You know, maybe she wanted to fill her in. I don't freaking know, it doesn't even matter. The point is, it wasn't me. And she's so bothered about that. And now you want to sit down and talk to me when I wasn't even dissing you. I was just saying it wasn't me, it was Val. I sorry, it wasn't me, it was Cookie that called her. Why is that rude? Why do you have an issue with me over that? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. It actually doesn't make any sense. Especially because I really like Cookie and I thought I really like Cookie. And that's why I gave Cookie the freaking ending scene. She was gonna basically be the closing act with Valentina. She was gonna be the closing act with Valentina. So I don't know, man. I just feel like she has an issue where there is no issue. Well, there's no issue though. I'm not allowed to tell the truth. I wasn't even a diss, I just said I didn't call her. And contrary, contrary to what people believe, um, you will see me scrap on badges eventually. At the moment, because our team is small, I'm very much involved in the production part. And because the girls have to listen to me, like go to bed, 
wake up, la 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 la. It's very difficult. You will see me scrap either on season two or season three when I'm a, when I can be more of a cast member, like eighty percent a cast member. Like right now, I am eighty percent producer, twenty percent not even eighty, ninety percent producer, ten percent cast member. So um, that needs to change, and that will change um, in due time. I just need I, I need there needs to be a season where I can take a step back. Um, obviously, maybe I can look at scenes at the end of the day, but I can take a step back and someone can, someone else have the schedule, someone else say, hi girls, get up, stand here, la, la. I need to get to that stage. And when we get to that stage, I can be a class member, but for now, I'm not really, for now, I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I thought it would be easy to be both, but it's not. Because at the end of the day, how do you fight a girl, I'll kill the girl, cuss a girl, and then the next minute you're like, yo, can you, can you go to bed now? Like, they might be like, no, fuck you, like, who are you talking to? Do you get it? Like, it's very difficult to make girls listen to you when you, when you literally, like, disrespected them, you had a disagreement, and then you're also the producer. So, I need a producer, and then I can be a cast member. And that will come, season two or season three. You'll see me have a scrap. I'm not here to say I'm the baddest or nothing, but you know me, I love an argument. So, let's go. I love an argument, I love a bit of pasta, and contrary, contrary to what people believe, yeah, I was taking licks left, right, and center at the reunion. Um, Tamara was like, <laughs> Tamara kept like, like jumping, and I kept getting taking the licks. Like, I don't like, I'm not scared of pain, like, I'm calm, like, I can have a scrap. Yeah, I'm not scared of getting punched, like, I'm not like, it's calm, okay, okay, all right, cool. So, um, yeah, you also have that to look forward to. So, yeah, season two or season three. Yeah, Lonnie will be a cast member. Anyway, guys, I love you lots. Um, I hope you enjoy the reunion. I also want to say the reunion is quality. The reunion is amazing. Yeah, we didn't get the last scenes, but trust me, the reunion is pure entertainment. I've seen comments saying, "Rather, the reunion might be better than the whole series." I mean, low key, high key, probably is. It is extremely entertaining. Extremely entertaining. And I feel like bad is just gonna get better and better and better and better and better and better and better. And better. All right. So stay tuned. You know, get your popcorn, get your tea. The reunion is a movie. Yeah. Episode one is more of the prelude, but you see episode two, episode two, three, four, and five. I think those are. It might be like they might be in like eleven. Actually, no, no, no. They'll be one, two, three, four, and five because they'll be in a separate like category. Trust me, from episode two to, to, to five, your jaw's gonna be on the floor. Like, it's that entertaining. It's just sick. It's amazing. All right? So I love you guys lots. And until next time, bye.